Rob here from D&D Toy Reviews, and today we're going to be looking at the Mafex number 131, Gambit, and his Jim Lee appearance from the 90s X-Men. So, let's get started with... Accessories! Okay, we have got a lot of accessories to get through here, so let's get into it. First, we have an alternate head sculpt. More of a stern, gritted teeth sculpt with some very nice paintwork on it. We even get some stubble for Gambit's beard there. The eyes are done in a red paint with some black outline around it, if it'll focus. Come on. There we go. You can kind of see it there. And the same thing on the, uh, the other head. His more neutral face. We get that same stubble on the chin, red eyes, black outline. We get some hands, so to start we get a couple of gripping hands that you can slide his included staff in. And the staff is done in this beautiful metallic blue reflective paint. And the staff just slides in with a little bit of effort. But it'll go in and he'll hold that very nicely. You can see he's not wiggling around at all. And for the staff... We get a couple of these kinetic energy effects that just slide on to the ends of the staff like so. So Gambit can be doing some kinetic energy staff attacks. We also get a pair of relaxed hands, a pair of card holding hands, and you'll see that they're different sculpts. We've got one where, oops, We've got one where his two fingers are up, and then one where he's kind of, you know, got his hands spread out a little more to grip some more things. And that's because we get two different cards. So we get this single charged card that looks like it's in the midst of being thrown. And that just slides between the two fingers like so. <clears throat> Sorry. And then we get this double charged effect where you can see one card is lower than the other, and those just slide into those fingers, like so. And now we've got Gambit holding some kinetically charged cards. We get a couple of splayed out, just thrown some card hands, and then we get a couple more splayed out, throwing some card hands, but these ones have a clear peg in the palm. So you can see there. They've got this clear peg molded into them, and that's so you can peg on these absolutely gigantic throwing card effects. So we've got one that's a little more plain, and then one that's just charged all the way up with tons of energy. And they've got a little hole in the bottom of them that you just plug that clear peg into, and then we would pop off the hand, pop on this hand with his big throwing effect. Now, you'll see that because of the weight of these, just due to their sheer size and weight, they will tend to make Gambit's arm sag. So here we can see the weight of it is just too much to hold the arm to the side, although he's doing a pretty good job of keeping it up. So in order to address that, let's say, for example, you want to have his arm spread out across like he's throwing the cards. But now, well, it's just sagging down because it's just too heavy for the weight of that wrist. So Mafex thought about that, and in addition to their regular stand, they've included this Y stand, which also has an alternate attachment to make it a little higher if you need and all you do you plug one of those Y's Y forks on there and then rest the card effect on there and of course you'd want to pose Gambit up as well but what you do is you just rest it on there and boom card effect in the air no sagging so not the best solution but it's a solution at least and Mafex at least realized that there was a bit of a problem and took some steps to address it. So, moving on from our from accessories, let's jump into... 
articulation. Okay, for articulation, we get the usual Mafex awesome level of articulation, and they have just been killing it with their comic book figures lately. The articulation on these are fantastic. So for uh, let's start off with the coat, actually. His coat is wired all the way around the outside. Even the collar is wired, so you can get the collar posed up how you like. And the fabric itself is very nice. It actually feels like the material you'd find on a trench coat. And it doesn't hinder the articulation very much at all. We even get some straps and buttons on the shoulder. Nice little touch. Some straps on the cuffs. No pockets, but not a big deal. So, to start off with articulation, we can look up about this far, down all the way, wiggle waggle, bop to the music. So the usual, you know, double ball and ball peg in the neck at the base and top for Mafex. We do get a butterfly joint. We can lift the arms up pretty high. We can go, if we take the jacket off, of course, we can go all the way around. But with the jacket on, we can get the arm going straight up with no problems at all. Let's uh, adjust the camera scooch. There, we can see you can get the arm going all the way up, no problem. We get a double jointed elbow, bicep swivel, the usual peg and hinge swivel wrist. So you can get the wrist bending in just about any way you want. We get a crunch at the chest, crunch at the lower waist, and you can go all the way down and all the way back. Though we do still, we do start to see a bit of a gap if we go too far back. Rotation, side to side, rotation, side to side. We get the usual drop down hip. So without dropping it down, we can kick pretty far forward. If we do drop it down, we can get just a little bit more range. Out to the side, drop it down even more. Backwards, not really anything. Drop it down, not really anything. We get a thigh rotation, which is done really well. Double jointed knees. And the usual ball and swivel ankles. We get forward, backward, rocker, and a toe. So the kind of articulation that you would expect from a Mafex figure nowadays. And all of the joints feel very nice, tolerance very well. Nothing feels loose until you put those gigantic uh, throwing effect parts on there. And so just for a comparison, here he is next to the Marvel Legends Gambit. You can see uh, the Mafex, well if they would stand up we could see it. We can see the Mafex Gambit is just a little bit shorter than the Marvel Legends, but nothing horrible and he should fit in just fine. And uh, we can see that the collar pattern is actually a wee bit different as well. I don't know if you can see that, but the uh, the Marvel Legend has far more line work here, and the Mafex has less lines, but not a big deal. And if you if you do have the Marvel Legend, oh, we can also see the uh, belt buckle detail is a little different as well. If you have the Marvel Legends and you're curious, you can take that holding hand for the card. And take the Marvel Legends card and pop it in there. And boom, you've got a single charged card that he's holding. And just for another comparison, here's the Marvel Legends staff compared to the Mafex staff. So the Mafex staff is actually a wee bit longer. Has a different detailing. The Marvel Legends just has that single line between each segment, whereas the Mafex has a series of lines between each segment of the staff. And yeah, Marvel Legends is rubbery rubbery, whereas the Mafex is not so much. It does have a bit of bent, but it also holds its shape a lot better. So 
That's it. I hope you enjoyed the review, and we'll see you next time.